Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, Leo sent me Mimicry Freaks. And this 2019 Japanese film was directed by Shogu Fuji and stars Tatsuji Sujiyama and Toyoma Muchizuki, among others, of course. And I'm sorry if I mispronounced those names. The story of this film is about this man, and he escapes this experimental facility, and he runs into the radiated woods around the facility. And in the woods, there's all these, like, kind of freaks that are trying to hunt him down and, you know, fight with him. Along the way, there's also this family that is looking for, like, a, a wedding venue within the radiation zone. And so they also have to deal with all these guys as well. And so what will happen? Will they survive? Well, you have to watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss this movie. So what works with it? Well, I think the story is intriguing enough. As it goes along, you get more and more details about what's actually happening with the main guy and what's happening at the experimental facility and all that different type of stuff. And it actually, again, does become quite intriguing that you want to see where all the pieces fall and how it kind of all fits together. Of course, some things are going to be much more surreal than others, and so it's really hard to fit certain things together. But for the most part, it does fit together in an interesting way. So that's definitely good. Other than that, this is a Japanese gore film, so they try to freak you out with all the gore. They do have some gore towards the end, you know, pulling out intestines, lots of blood splatter, and that type of stuff. But of course, again, they save it towards the end. They do have this one thing in the middle that did kind of freak me out and at least made me cringe and just had to look away for a moment. It was like this sex contraption where I was like, that's really, you know, uncool to have. And so they did kind of have that in there. And yeah, all of that kind of Japanese gore cinema type of stuff is in there. It's definitely also a surreal watch as well. So if you like surreal movies plus this kind of gore aspect to it, it definitely works that way. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this film. Well, with this one, there's no real way around it. They save all that kind of gore stuff towards the end. So even though it's supposed to be, you know, a gory movie, it's only really at the end. They do even have like a few decapitations at the beginning, but there's like no blood splatter. You you know, you cut off the head, you expect it to like splatter everywhere. And I'm like a fan of like, you know, Tokyo Gore Police and that type of stuff. And so I enjoy it, but again, they save it towards the end. So I was just waiting and waiting and waiting for that. Other than that, they do play heavily into the surreal kind of aspect to it, especially at the beginning. I was so confused at the beginning. He's like hallucinating and stuff. And I was like, is this like a dream? What's going on? You know, as it goes along, you kind of get more and more and it becomes more interesting. But it is kind of a rough start to get into it. But I think those people who like kind of this genre and stick with it will, you know, get something out of it. So it is what it is. Other than that, with this one, like I said, the story is interesting, but there's still like holes in it, so it doesn't fit perfectly together, especially with that like surrealism aspect to it. It doesn't make certain sense in certain ways. Even like the beginning, like I have no idea how that kind of situation started, especially having seen the whole movie. I, I can't imagine that even happening. And so there are certain aspects of it that are surreal to the point of being incoherent, but it it's fine I guess other than that it does have that shaky cam kind of lower budget kind of quality to it but you know that's fine I do think it takes away from the atmosphere sometimes but overall they're working towards that surreal horror type of thing that I think they accomplish but it's not going to be for everyone I think people who you know like that alternative Japanese scene will probably get you know what they're looking out of it and be satisfied but if that's not you, probably this is not going to be your movie. What else can I say? I don't know. I think there's a few things that are kind of just thrown in there as tropes for kind of this genre. And that's cool enough. You're like, that's a cool story. But but why? Why, why would any of that happen? So yeah, it's a strange one for sure. As for my recommendation, well, again, if you're in that niche audience who like that kind of surreal alternative horror, then this might be something for you. If you are just there for like the splatter gore type of stuff, honestly, there's not that much. So you might want to stay away. But if you are a part of that audience, then yeah, totally check it out. As for rating, well, I'll give it the OK score of four. And with that being said, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.